Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down here in the corner of the screen or down below and become what I like to call one of my Dollar Divas. So today I'm gonna be trying out three different TikTok makeup hacks. Now I have a confession, I have a confession. I am actually not on TikTok, but of course I do see a lot of TikTok stuff. You know, there are ways that you can see it and I do see my fair share of TikTok content and some of these things you just can't escape. So I did wanna try out these three hacks and just in true to me form, I am wearing and using all Dollar Tree makeup just to kind of show that these hacks can be done with any kind of makeup. You don't need the most expensive products or the newest products. It can be done with anything, even your Dollar store makeup. Without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So I'm going to do the eyebrow hack first because usually I start my face out with eyebrows. So I'm going to be using my LA Colors brow pencil. If you're on my channel a lot, you know I love this eyebrow pencil. So this is the eyebrow hack using the end of a pair of glasses or sunglasses. And I just bought a new pair of sunglasses from the Dollar Tree. They actually kind of need to be cleaned. They're a little dirty. But yeah, anyway, these are um, these here are from the Dollar Tree. I know, super cute, huh? So the idea with this hack is that you take the end where your ear goes and use it as a guide for your eyebrows. And I've never done this hack before. I am doing it for the first time. So first you use it like on the top of your eyebrow, then you use it underneath. So we'll go ahead and start. And I don't know if I'm really using the right shape. I guess the idea is that you can use like any glasses. <laughs> So now we'll go underneath. Oh, I don't know if the underneath part is gonna work. I don't really know that the underneath part is gonna work, but I really do feel. So this particular set of glasses, I feel like it works on the top, but it's not gonna work on the bottom. Let me try to find another pair of glasses. These are like my glasses glasses, and these are new because I have LASIK, so I haven't really worn glasses in years, but I just bought some. That might actually be a slightly better shape. I'm gonna go ahead and just go over what I've already done with this set. It's actually, I don't know, it's very similar. The tutorial that I watched, it went, the girl went above and then went below. As you can see though, that would res that doesn't really result in like a the curve. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the other one. I'll go ahead and use this pair of glasses for the other one, see if it does any better or different. Or it's gonna be harder with my, this hand. The left side is really hard if you're right-handed, unless I'm doing something wrong. Oh no, I'm gonna finish them up with my sunglasses. This is like really hard. Like whatever hand, like if you, I guess if you're left-handed, this one here would be maybe easier, but it's not, it's not as easy to do like your other eye. It's like this, see this one's easy. This one, and there's like no other way. Yeah, there's like no other way to do it. So we are gonna have a hard time with one of them, depending on whether or not you're left-handed or right-handed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and even out, even these out a little bit. I mean, like overall, like, I mean, my obviously my eyebrows, like I feel like they came out really good. Like in some ways I feel like they came out better than like they normally do, but, um, but that's a little bit of hassle. Either use like a stencil, like I'm gonna clean up with my LA Colors concealer underneath while we're talking. But yeah, the first set I ever bought were from Sally's and I really didn't use them. I don't even know if I still have them. And now you can buy them at the Dollar Tree. So if you're having a hard time, either watch some tutorials on YouTube or get you like a stamping kit or some stencils because I like the idea of the eyeglass trick working. The tutorial that I watched too also had the girl going like above this with the concealer and that just seems even harder using it as a guide for this step right here. I just think a steady hand or just a little bit of skill or buying at the Dollar Tree, especially, if, you know, and if not the Dollar Tree, you can definitely find some more expensive, fancier products like root stamps, root stamp kits and things like that. And just going ahead and investing in something like that or investing in your skill level because it just takes a little bit of practice. So yeah, overall, I think this hack is good in theory, but doesn't really execute as well in reality. 
So the next hack, and I don't know how to get this up on the screen because I do film on a camera, but apparently there is a filter now that I've been seeing the last couple days where it shows you, it's like a contour filter. And the long shot of it is, it'll have like lines and then it'll have like this little blue strip. And everybody that I've watched do this where they have the filter on them, the, the strip seems to be up here, which, you know, usually we kind of highlight this area or put blush. We don't normally contour up here. Normally we contour. I know me personally, I contour down here. So I'm going to try it without the filter just because I've watched enough videos on it. And I'm going to put this higher than I normally would. This feels so weird. And I'll just go ahead and, you know, do a little extra contouring just the way I normally do. videos I've seen this has actually really worked well it's made their face like it's made like it's given like a lifted effect so I'm gonna say that I am really very pleasantly surprised by the fact that it really does feel lifted I don't that kind of had the opposite effect that I thought like I said normally we're so used to I'm so used to like highlighting and putting blush up here and contour down here but I really like it. I might add that, that might have changed everything. So I would say that one is worth trying. If you have that contour filter, or even if you don't, just place it up on like, it seems to put the filter where the bone is, where your cheekbone is. Which like I said, traditionally, that's where we're taught to put highlighter. I'm gonna implement this and keep trying it and see how I feel over time and definitely let you know. But I would say as of right now, this one is a success. And this one here, my friend actually taught me. And I can't really remember how I felt about it. She loves it, um, and I wanted to try it now. So it's basically, it's a way to get fuller looking lips with your lip liner technique. So basically what you do is you take your lips and you put them together where they're almost gone, but not completely. And then you line like straight across. I know it sounds weird. So I'm gonna blend mine in just a bit. And then you go over it with a lipstick or a lip gloss. You know, and I feel, you know, this here, I do feel like it makes your lips look plumper, but I kind of feel that way when I do anything with lip liner. Cause I do always overline anyway. Basically it's, it's a way of overlining. So I don't really think that hack is special necessarily. Um, so this one here is kind of 50, 50. Like I said, it's for me, it's actually a little harder to kind of line my lips when they're kind of the way they were. So I guess if it's easier for you to do it that way, it's a success. If not, then you can just go on doing what you do. So I'm going to say this one is this one. I could take it or leave it. So definitely check out my other content up here on the screen. And before you do, make sure you like this video. It helps me and my channel out so much. Share this video with anybody you think may enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.